Pleasure Way Lexor FL. It's based on a Dodge Ram Promaster 3500. So one of the nice things about this is this one comes with the factory Promaster swivel seats which have the uh, seat belt buckled into them and the, the base that's the right height. They've got a Lagoon table mount there. So I assume that the idea is that you put these two seats facing each other and then the um, the table becomes, so that's your eating area. Um, looking around the other way here, there's a little countertop which is done pretty nicely. And uh, it's got a decent sink in it. And uh, they've gone for a two burner cooktop. Don't, don't know who makes that. And uh, high point. Oh, that's a microwave, so there's no actual oven in it. And a little storage in there. This looks like a water pump, sink, uh, fire extinguisher, electronic control panel. And what do we got up here? Freedom XL. Must be the battery monitor or something. Truma Aqua Go. So that's that nice heater that's uh, both propane and uh, engine heat. Overhead cabinets. As you'd expect, um, this is a show here. We're in 2020, January, in Spokane, Washington. Um, the bed has some kind of a mechanism that lays it out. And it's got the CR Lawrence windows where the on the driver's side, the, both of those two little things pop out about 45 degrees to give you a little ventilation. And on the passenger side with a sliding door, only the rear one pops out. And, you know, kind of more storage around in the upper, in the upper cabinets. Sorry for the crappy cell phone video. TV. I don't know what's the connection between RVs and TVs, but everybody seems to have one, or two or three or seven. Um, so maybe that's the table mount in there, some kind of piece of wood in that. Little closet. Um, it's got this little fridge, which I'm trying not to open it too far so we don't want to break the hinges. But uh, it's a decent sized fridge, a little freezer compartment, Dometic. Um, and then the shower and toilet thing is behind this door. So I think that this is a uh, toilet that goes to Blackwater. Not super familiar with these, but I'm pretty sure that just goes to the Blackwater tank. A tiny little bathroom sink, and where's the shower? I guess the shower is just there. And then when you're in here, there's a... Uh, you can take the curtain and pull it around to keep the water off the, off the sink and cabinet in there. And pretty normal under the cabinet there. So that's, you know, it's pretty nice. Okay, around on the back of this pleasure way, um, regular Promaster stuff. Uh, this is Eco Ion, so I'm not quite sure how big of a battery it has in it, but supposedly it's got a battery under here. You can see the mechanism for the seat barely in there. There's that thing that kind of shines there is a screw. There's a motor in the center with a couple of flex cables that lays it out. Automatic transfer relay, I suppose, for uh, doing the battery thing. When you look underneath this beast, they've gotten rid of the spare. And uh, I get the, they've gotten rid of the spare and it's, there's an Onan generator in their RV QG2800. And absolutely cannot see. Oh, hold on. Hang on. Okay, so back in there you can see the propane tank kind of tucked up behind the axle in front of where the spare would be. And then there's the generator. And that's kind of what's uh, behind here. It looks like the, looks like the uh, standard uh, Dodge hitch and power for a uh, trailer. And so there's your uh, propane remote fill generator. It shows you the clearance there. It may be a little above the axle. And you can see the propane tank in there too. Propane tanks up in that area, buried in there. And the fellow showed me the, how to rotate the seats around. This is a 19 pre-owned vehicle, so it's not new. And so that price I showed you was the used price. But the idea is that the uh, Laguna table mount there would uh, these are some shots of the factory swivel seat bases. A lot of uh, 
cargo and passenger vans do not come with these factory swivel seats and instead use some kind of a swivel adapter. These sweet bases from the factory are pretty nice. They are the correct height and they operate very smoothly. So I just wanted to show what the factory swivel seats looked like. The side of the vehicle has um, got a utility shower, that first one, utility center, which I assume is uh, a power and water cable, looks like. Um, there's the Truma Aquago heater, the vents for the fridge, the Sierra Lawrence venting window, and I believe that's the outlet for the furnace. Here's the back side of that generator and propane tank you can see there behind the axle. Okay, we're back underneath. I think this is like the black water drain. They've rerouted the exhaust to come out just in front of the rear wheel. And uh, you can see the tanks on the other side there. There's fairly big tanks. I think the fellow said that it was uh, like 27 gallons of fresh water and like 13 each on the black and gray, maybe. I'm not quite sure of those specs though. And there's a little panel for the black and gray water coming out. And then continuing on back, you can see the exhaust there for the APU. And the uh, Pleasure Way has this little skirt going around, which uh, doubles as a step here in the front. These are some random shots from underneath the van. Some plumbing there, PEX, and uh, does not look like it's weatherproof. There's the propane fill from the back again. Just a more clear shot. The generator. Again, this is a used van, so sorry, it's not a brand clean one. And where the exhaust turns and goes out in front of the driver's side tire and shot of the tanks on the far side there and the black pipe I think is the black clean out. This is a shot of the battery compartment up in front. I was just trying to see how they'd hooked up there. They've got the awning on there. Looks like it's electric and some kind of an air conditioner. Okay, so we've got the uh, bed going down in back here. Somebody found the controls to make that do its thing. I see where it's pretty slick. 